Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am April Sunny. So I got a request to do this hairstyle. It was inspired by Lark. Um, she was Lisa on Saved by the Bell, but she had her hair like this when she was on In the House. I don't know if you guys remember that show, but I watch it all the time, almost every day. And when she was getting married to Maxwell and they were going through their wedding plans, she had her hair like this. I thought it was so cute, fun, and classy. Like, what a cute little spin on schoolgirl little puffballs. You guys know I love a simple hairstyle. So I decided to recreate it. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. It should be a short and sweet video. Let's get started. So last night before braiding my hair, I did use a little bit of the Olaplex Bond Smoother along with the Olaplex Oil to braid my hair down. But I do feel like I could still add some shine. So I am going to use some coconut oil. Parting my hair, I want to go ahead and establish where I want my deep side part to be and make sure that is done properly because that is what's going to show. And then moving on, I don't want too much of my hair out so I'm not going to go all the way across because we have to make sure it's enough hair to swoop over but not enough to be bulky. So that is about how much I'm going to leave out. Moving on to the back portion of my hair, I'm just going to part that down the center in the back and put that into two halves so I can pull it up into high ponytails. Once my hair is parted into two halves, I'm going to make sure I put coconut oil on the center section or any dry spots I may have. As a relaxed girl, I feel like we often neglect the center portion of our hair and that's where we get a lot of breakage when we put our hair into ponytails. So I put the coconut oil first and now I'm just moving it up into a high ponytail. Just in case you were wondering, I am using a black ouchless hair tie to tie off my ponytails. You can definitely use a silk scrunchie or one of those small silk scrunchies where you can get a tighter grip on your hair if you prefer. But for this look, I chose a black ouchless hair tie. Now that my two ponytails are where I would like them, I do go through it once with the brush and then flip it over, swoop it around, and then twist the ends, fold it under, and I am using a hairpin, not a bobby pin. I prefer hairpins over bobby pins, so I am going to use two hairpins on each little bun. All right, now that that's complete, we're gonna move on to 
the front section. We're just gonna detangle and smooth out that front section. Thank goodness we didn't leave too much out because this allows for it to lay as flat as possible and swoop it over. Once I have it smooth and pretty much how I want it to lay, I'm gonna take the ends of that piece, that portion, and tuck it under my little bun and pin it with a hairpin. Moving on to my edge control, I am using a black owned edge control that was recommended from one of you guys. Thank you again for recommending this. This has worked really well for my hair so far. So I'm only gonna put this on, of course, the one side to kind of lay my edges down. I don't think I'm ever gonna be a pro at this because I think this is so optional and unnecessary sometimes, but it does enhance this look. So I am gonna do it this time around. So I'm gonna just add it to there and smooth it out. this is it i am only wearing this hairstyle for the day and then tonight i will moisturize and seal my hair and put it back into that one braid that i took took out um, at the beginning of this video so of course if you'd like for it to stay a little bit longer and hold for you you can use whatever gels pomades or hairspray you need for it to hold but i again i'm just wearing it for the day i really hope you guys have enjoyed this video thank you to the person that requested this video and until the next time be love